This seems like a peaceful game. Guess we're going with Mourn. This game is a work of fiction. While the game includes materials reminiscent of existing religions, it has nothing to do with real life. This game contains subjective interpretations of angels. Oh, I missed the rest. I'm sure it was some sort of warning. Oh, you have been told that the pastor of your church had suddenly passed away last night. Oh, that's sad. I'm sure he was a friendly pastor. As you helped with his wife's funeral not long ago. Oh, well, that happens sometimes when someone's wife passes away. They are sad to be without them. You were assigned to assist the pastor's funeral service today as well. Okay. And by the time the service comes to an end, everyone is dead? The funeral is about to begin. All guests of the funeral, please find your way over to the seats. I don't know if you really call it a guest of the funeral, but okay. Kitty, you're making it hard for me to see the screen. For all service assistance, please make sure to review the procedures of the ceremony thoroughly. Hmm. I don't know that there are ceremony procedures. Remember, everything must be perfect. Oh, like no pressure! How about just we'll do the best we can and we appreciate your help? There should be a written procedure for assistance to read somewhere near here. Praying to the heavens to help me not make any mistakes during the ceremony would be very helpful as well. I don't know, this is an awful lot of pressure to put on someone who is just trying to help at a funeral where people hopefully are like being kind and understanding. Let us do this then. Alright, well this looks like written instructions. Oh, but we can't, can't, I can't see past your body. Sweetie, go that way. Can't go left. There we go. Obtained funeral information memo. Um, alright, this is a little creepy. Ah, another nosebleed! When will I get used to... Used to... what? Have I bled like this before? The final event listed is now difficult to read from it being covered by the blood. Oh no. Order of service. Opening speech. Alright, I should probably write this down. I think this is full screen. Alright, well I'll try. F4. Right, F4 didn't do anything. F11? F11 didn't do anything. Th this is, on my screen, pretty full screen. I think on the chat screen, because I've got the laptop over here on the left, that it's pretty full screen. It may just be because my monitor is a widescreen monitor that what they have full screen still has black on the left and right. Alright, so we're doing... Opening, speech, prayers, chanting hymns, wreath laying, and the last one looks like re -er Is that like resurrect? That looks pretty much like resurrect. Alright, so I think our last step is going to be to resurrect him into a zombie.
All right. Oh, wait. Pray to the candle. Pray equals candle. And notes equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, question mark. And then that looks like a fire symbol. Sing and then set things on fire, which must be part of the resurrect step. Kitty, kitty, I fed you before we started for this very reason. You don't get to get fed twice just because you think that you're going to fool me. You can press X to review your inventory. All right, X inventory. All right, I am ready. This is all the preparation I need. I should start heading over to the front of the altar. Altar has an A in it, you know, not altar. And find my assigned spot, but okay. All right, we're going to go alter the altar. Hello, peoples. Question. A strange voice suddenly starts to ring in your head. Be not afraid, human. I am Cthulhu, god of the... No, alright. Be not afraid, human. Right, now what? Dot, dot, dot. Wow, that was way too slow and dramatic for my taste. Yeah, no. If I keep speaking like this, we'll be here all day. So you know what? Go be free. I will release you from this pain and start speaking normally. Give a huge round of applause for my thoughtfulness, everybody. Oh, and turn this weird background ambience off, too. It's kind of killing the mood. Now that all that's out of the way. Can you hear my oh-so-friendly and soft voice that just makes your heart melt away from all the trustworthiness? Yes. Yes, we trust you with all our heart. I hear it loud and clear. Oh, how unexpectedly sweet of you. You actually think my voice sounds like that? Yes, I do. Well, if you like my voice so much, I should never stop talking for you then. Thank you, I have like an eternal friend now who will always keep me company. All right, from this point on, everything I say will be in fully written paragraphs. You ready to read endless blocks of text, lady? Yes. Here we go. One, two. Yeah, no, that was a joke. If you haven't already noticed. Oh, I was waiting for my paragraphs of text. Now, how about it? Aren't you curious on how I look now that you've heard my voice? Yes. But you know, not everyone has a look. What if you're some sort of ethereal being with no corporeal form? All right, all right. Everyone gather around for the grand entrance of yours truly. All right, if you want to, you know, manifest yourself in the material plane, then that is your choice. I'm waiting. Ta-da! Oh, very cute. Um. Aren't you too disappointed? No, I think you're very cute. What, did you expect me to be more, well, holy looking? You look pretty holy. Aw, oh, come on. Chin up now. No one besides me even wanted to try and come meet you. I personally came to help you out since I'm super nice and proper like that. You should be grateful, lady. Alright, that's not super nice. That's sort of accusatory. Before we start getting attached to each other, I need you to answer something for me first. Surprise quiz! Alright, I'm ready for the quiz. Guess what I'm supposed to be? Um, an angel. 
feel free to answer however you like. You're not getting punished or anything. I'm sure you say that, but I don't necessarily trust you completely. I'm just an illusion in your head. How could I ever hurt you? Well, clearly we know the answer to that. You could just talk to us endlessly in paragraphs of text until we go absolutely insane. Ah, that doesn't mean I want to hurt you if I could, by the way. So don't start assuming I'm evil just yet. You can't be evil. You have glowing white light. That's how the world works. Everything with glowing white light must be good. Um, Alright, chat. What do you think? I don't think it's any of those. Or they is any of those. I think they're an angel, which is not a god. I don't think they're a demon. I should get to have an angel option. I don't think they're a human. I don't know. I don't like any of these options. All right. Yep. I'm gonna go with God. I think. All right. Make a note. Keep, keep, keep track of my choices. I don't think it's like the God. I think it's a God. All right. How about that? Nice song. I like this song. All right. This is a God song. All right. We'll go with God. 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 You came to that conclusion after everything I did so far? Yeah, you made light happen. That's pretty godly. If I was God with my personality, humanity would have gone extinct eons ago. Well, no, you're just a lesser God. You're not the greater God. You suddenly felt someone flicking your forehead. Eep! Nice eyes. Well, I find it hilarious if you go around asking if random things are supposed to be God, upstairs might take it as blasphemy. You know how the boss is, bit of a petty loser, so don't forget to always watch your mouth. I think God is forgiving. Isn't calling God a petty loser also blasphemy? I'm an angel. See, see, I knew! Then you didn't get that as a choice. Well, you know, if you gave me a choice of angel, I would have chosen it. I'm an angel. That's right. An angel. Well, guardian angel, to be specific. Aw, I have my very own guardian angel. You know, the ones that get assigned to a specific human and look after them so they don't die. I think we're also called the silent protector sometimes. But don't call me that. I'm too pretentious of a title, don't you think? I don't know, you look like a silent protector. You're not very silent, though. You're very babbly. So just call me by my name. It's Forkus. Alright, we're writing this down. Forkus the Lesser God. Forkus the Guardian Angel. Alright, Forkus. Anyways, I believe this is the point where you're starting to wonder. Why is this suspicious angel, reeking of old man energy, suddenly talking to me? Why does he talk like that? His characterization sucks. No, I wasn't thinking that at all. I'm thinking you were fun. What, am I not allowed to talk to people when I'm bored? Are you saying angels should shut up and only stand around looking pretty? No. That's judgmental. I didn't say any. Oh well, I'm not here because I'm bored anyway. I'm here for business. Actually, he's here for buoysness. Buoysness. Alright, we have to keep track of buoysness. Written this down. Buoysness. I want to know what this buoysness is about. The human I've been assigned to, look over, got tied up with this obviously suspicious church. Now it'd be really convenient for me if someone who's already on the site were to help me. Lady, how about we make a deal? Hmm. Alright, what I just said sounds a lot like I'm supposed to be something else that's not an angel. Yes, I would agree. But like I told you before, and telling you again now, 
I am a 100% pure angel. Don't forget that. Yeah, you're pretty feisty for an angel. Oh, hi, Kate. Thank you for hanging out. Anyway, you'll even get a prize if you do your part well. It's... Drum rolls, please. Ta-da! Me! That, that, that. Ouch. Aren't you being too harsh? Wait a minute. Aren't you supposed to be a nun? How can you even act like that towards me? I'm a very serious and graceful angel, you know? You still don't get why me being around you will be the best thing that can ever happen to you. Listen here. I'm a guardian angel, yeah? Think of everything guardian angels can do for their human. You'll never get hurt. All troubling things in your life, poof, gone. I don't think that's how guardian angels work. They wouldn't let you actually like make growth as a human being. How useful is that? Well, how about it? Pretty neat, eh? Isn't that your responsibility in the first place? I'm doing you a favor. You aren't my original responsibility, kid. Never mind. What I mean is, yes, that's my job. But I'll upgrade those perks by 11. Like a bonus package. Guardian Angel Premium, you could say. What do you even want? What I want is fairly simple. No matter what happens, I want you to focus and finish today's funeral perfectly all the way from start to finish. Let's just be polite and say, I can do that. Now that's a 10 plus likability point worthy answer. Oh, and don't forget, never think about escaping or helping someone. Ignore them. Focus only on what you're doing. All right, that's a little creepy. I think that funeral people would understand if you stopped to help someone who was like having a cardiac arrest or something on the floor because you didn't light a candle yet. But okay, this is how the angel's gonna play. Haha, <laughs> was that too specific? Are you suspicious of me now? Let's say I'll still trust you. Lady! My heart just went bump bump. I'm touched. I do want to make you trust me from the get-go, believe me. But you know how it is. The boss upstairs is pretty strict about this kind of thing. Listen, all angels have rules we must follow. We cannot let humans know what kind of crisis or problems they're going to be facing directly. Boss isn't much of a fan of the classic showing illusions to warn what's about to come method anymore. I didn't really like the idea when I proposed to meet you this way, but you know, since I'm a nice angel, I begged and begged. Is that how being an angel works? They beg and beg? So here I am. This is as good as it gets. Meaning, I can only help you through vague lessons and never the direct answer. Yeah. You must figure out the rest on your own and overcome it. I know, right? It sucks that I'm basically some kind of a pet rather than an actual assistant. Or your friendly friend. But I guess it's fair. Characters with know-it-all mentor positions like me are supposed to be enigmatic after all, or else we wouldn't be popular. But anyway, since I've eaten up a lot of time, I'll let you go for now. If you want to talk to me again, come find me. Uh, how about this? If you find yourself stuck or clueless, just send up a prayer and I'll come right down. Good luck, lady. I'll be cheering you on. Remember my words. I'm on your side. Alright, so we have our very own guardian angel watching out from us. Ah! I can't believe I let that strange voice distract me. I need to focus and go to my assigned spot. Where was that again? Why do I feel like I've been forgetting things more often lately? Even now, I feel like I'm missing something very important. For now, I'll just use the other assistants as an example and figure something out. Well, she said she was going to the altar. So if we go up to the altar... 
and look at where they're standing. There's two over there. So we could stand there. I can't go any further in that direction. Well, surely they don't mean that I should actually stand right in front of the altar. Alright. Alright, so there's three on that side. See, so I should be like next to this person. I can't turn. I can't go any further that way. How do I put my head veil down? I think the other ones have their head veil down. I can't go up there. Coffin where the pastor lies. Did the pastor's chest move up and down just now? Must have been my imagination. I think we should save the pastor. This should be my assigned spot. Yes, that's where I've been trying to stand. All right. Maybe I had to look at the pastor first before let me stand there. We will now begin the funeral service. First of all, I would like to express my sincere appreciations to everyone who gathered here today. Not long after his wife has passed, our pastor has followed behind her footsteps. But everyone, this is not a thing to be sad about. As the faithful servant of the Lord has told us before, our pastor will never abandon us even after death. All right, he's going to be a zombie. It's a little creepy. At this moment, the pastor is very happy to see how many followers of his have gathered here for him. Just like how his wife has yet to leave and been protecting us, the pastor will do the same and take care of us all. Oh, she doesn't get to go to heaven? It's a little sad. Let us all pray in appreciation of his kindness and thoughtfulness. Alright, so this must be the opening service. Hello? Please look this way. Anyone? A voice is coming from inside the iron cage covered by the black cloth. Is anyone there? Please, someone help me! I'm so scared! Help! I don't know. The angel said not to get distracted. We're just going to ignore. Ah, I swear that she looked towards my direction. Please, don't ignore me. Please help. Even if it isn't now, just once, please talk to me. It is time for the next procedure. Whatever is happening, I need to focus on progressing the funeral for now. The next event is prayers. Yes? Yep, that's what my little list says. Ah, there's a drawn symbol of hands put together and a candle on the memo. See, see, I said that a prayer equals candle. How should I go about this? get a candle. Am I allowed to just steal a candle from somewhere? This candle's up here. Am I supposed to just wander around? I don't know, it looks like I have a candle. Can I steal a candle from here? Bundle of candles that are yet to be lit. Oh, are they saying that I have to go around lighting candles? Alright, let's go try to see if we can find a what if I take this candelabra? Of course, I need this to light the candles. Ah, were my footsteps always this loud? Oops, that was audio too over. Was that audio too over the top? Ah! Shh, it's me, lady. It's me. See, it's me, your friendly neighborhood guardian angel, Forkus. Congrats, you got it. That's an A+, plus served just for you. 
You surprised me. Does this mean the loud footstep just now was? An auditory hallucination played by me. Aha. Uh -huh. Aw, oh, don't look so annoyed. You think I pulled that off just to mess with you? I mean, it was pretty hilarious seeing you about to bawl your eyes out. That's not a nice thing for a guardian angel to say. Dot, dot, dot. Right, right, sorry. People here are pretty obsessed with everything being perfect, huh? Even a single mistake could think you ruin their entire parade. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. For example, you're making a noise when they're going at it during their hardcore praying session. They'll hear your footsteps the same volume as how I just played it to you. Or hey, maybe even worse. Yeah, they'll think it's loud as the sound of the entire building collapsing down. Anyways, long story short, watch your step. Well, that's enough life lessons from me. Good luck, lady. You're killing it so far. You definitely did that just to mess with me. Alright, we're going to pray to file number one. Watch my step. Ah. When people are praying, my footsteps will be covered by their voices. Which means they won't notice me. I need to light all the candles without drawing attention to myself. those light. I made it noise like the other one's lit, but they don't look lit. Kitty, I fed you. I know. I know you think you haven't been fed, but you were fed. Make me just do the ones in this main hall area, or is it gonna make me go do other ones? Oh, I guess that's them. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for your sincere prayers. All right, next came chanting hymns. And it looks like the numbers are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So I guess we'll see. Phew, now that's out of the way. The next procedure will sure to begin soon. I should return to my spot and think over what I should do next. All right. Let us now sing praise of blessings for the pastor, his wife, and us, the remaining followers of the church and our future. To make the preparations for the next procedure easy, all guests, please take out the chrysanthemums you were asked to prepare and hold them up as we all sing. I don't have chrysanthemums, I don't think. Uh-oh. Ah, the nun from earlier. 
here, over here. You, you came back. I was worried something might have happened to you. Please, I noticed that there's a lock on the cage with a passcode. Seems like you need to enter four numbers. Please help me figure this out. Nope, we're ignoring. We were told by our guardian angel. Ah, no. Please, what do I have to do to make you look my way? Help. I don't know what they're planning to do to me. Help me. Someone please help. It is time for the next procedure. I need to stay calm, especially at a time like this. The next procedure. There's a musical note next to a flower and a list of numbers. Oh, is that supposed to be a flower? Since it's hard to tell what the numbers mean yet, so? Does that mean I should check the flowers first? Well, I am pretty curious if everyone did bring their chrysanthemums or not. I should take a look around for that. And the person in the cage says something about a passcode. Is there something with numbers on it in this church in the first place? Nope, I'm not listening to the person with the cage because the guardian angel told me not to. But first I am saving. Oh, I guess I'm not saving. <laughs> I am escaping. There's no option to save. All right. So they don't mind that I'm just gallivanting around now, making little footsteps. All right, flowers, chrysanthemums. All right, see candles over here. I see books. I do not see chrysanthemums. I see stained glass windows. People in the pews. A coffin. We're still thinking the pastor is alive. I do not see chrysanthemums. I said, are there numbers in here? I do not see numbers anywhere. My cat is like sitting right in front of my face trying to convince me to go feed him. But I already fed them. I fed you already, sweetie. You have food. It's in your food place. Oh wait, they said we shouldn't leave. Which makes me think. All right, we'll try the people on the rows. Thank you. All right, clicking on them doesn't seem to do anything. Let's try and see if we can go into them. Ah, ah, well, that's creepy. All right, so it's four. Eyed people. So we have four, four, three. One of those followers suddenly grabbed your skirt. I swear I brought it. Oh, see, look. Please believe me. I did bring it. You need to believe me. It was right here next to me. It was right here until just a moment ago. Look, poor little old guy, it's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't make a mistake next time. Please don't report me. What do I do? Do I tell the truth or lie and count the chrysanthemum as if it was here? That's a little strange. Four. 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 So we just that one guy that headed off. Oh, 
maybe we can find a row that has five and then bring one to the missing guy. I don't want to get the old guy in trouble. And plus, I mean, what kind of a church would be mean to someone just because they lost their chrysanthemum? They didn't mean to. Any extra chrysanthemums over here? Oh, there's a safe spot over here. Alright. Alright, we're saving in two. So two. There's mid chrysanthemum. Alright, everything must be perfect. Which means that we can't just lie about it because it wouldn't be perfect. Which means we have to find another chrysanthemum. Stack of books. It's the holy names. What was his name again? Porcus. Where's the F? Oh, Elizabeth. That's my name. Promise from God. God is my oath. True of appearance of an angel is impossible to describe with the use of human tongue. Human beings who see their original form will have their minds broken, their flesh burned, and eventually lead to their death due to their overwhelmingly holy presence. Therefore, when angels communicate with humans, they must appear as an acceptable illusion or in a vessel that the human mind can comprehend. Most angels choose to appear in the form of animals or humans. The vessel of an angel is in the human world is gifted by the Lord, however this privilege is no longer given after the fall of an angel. Angels who have fallen have their vessel taken and are banished from heaven without having an acceptable form to properly exist on our world. That would sort of seem to imply that this person is a non-fallen angel. Alright, back to this chrysanthemum problem. First of today, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Are they implying that we should not trust this angel? Angels are trustworthy servants of the Lord. They obey the Lord unconditionally, prioritizing any given tasks to them. They were created only to act according to the will of the Lord. The voice of an angel is very sacred, soft, and most importantly, incredibly persuasive. Therefore, it is natural for the Lord's followers to believe the angel's words unconditionally. See, I'm believing him unconditionally. As we follow them to receive words and blessings of the Lord through them. Yep, I believe him unconditionally. Back to these chrysanthemums. We have a poor guy. Is he over here? So other people know that he's missing a flower. We have to find a flower. Where is a flower? Is this going to be a vain quest? <laughs> Am I not going to be able to find a missing flower? For this poor guy. Did you decide I was wandering around for too long looking for the flower? Why do you look so surprised? It's me. How about it? Did you miss me? Yes, I did. I'm not here to mess with you again, so don't give me the dot 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 just yes. I want a flower. I just want to let you know that I'm well. Of course you're well. You're an angel. Oh, well, proud of you. I thought you just meant you were well. <laughs> Share you some good news too. Did you know your trial is about to end soon? Why am I on trial? I know you must have been in doubt a lot during this whole thing, but you're doing great. Just keep going at it like you've been doing, and you'll be fine. Wishing you my luck till the end, lady. Thank you for putting your faith in me. I don't know. I feel like I am not finding a flower, and that I want to find a flower. 
flower in here. Can't talk to that person. There will be trouble for both of us if I talk to them now. Well, I'm trying to find a flower. Maybe the flower's in there. I have a quest to this flower. Alright, chat. Do you guys have any clues for me on this flower issue? I don't want to go outside because he told me not to go outside, but I don't have anywhere else I know to look. I tried all these piles of books, I think. I don't know if I did all the angel things. No. Oh, we did this one already. Yep, yep. Flash burn. Vessel of an angel. to find a flower and help that poor person out. Okay. Let's see, look, I tried this. Standing there. Oh, there we go. From my perspective, how many chrysanthemums are there on the left? Oh no. I didn't count the rows. There are like six rows? Say 24. You got any help from the chat? <laughs> I'm gonna fail at this. I suppose I saved recently, so. Alright, we're trying 24. Confirmed. Alright, we're gonna go 24. Ah! Alright, that's not good. No. I'm going to count again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Oh, from her perspective. Oh, she means like looking this this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So I was trying to lie and say twenty-four in each one, but apparently she's saying I have to tell the truth. All right. Right, so we're saying that there's 24 from her perspective on left and 23 from her perspective on the right. So 24 on the left. That whole my perspective is a little iffy. But okay. What's wrong with 23? Yes. See, see? Leftover chrysanthemums. I said I was looking for them. I was looking for them. If you guys would just tell me where the chrysanthemums were held. Oh, now we're stuck. No, don't stick me. Please return to your spot. I'm trying to return to my spot. Oh, I think my keyboard just died. No, 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 no. All right, let me try popping the battery out and in again. All right, is that gonna help? Happier keyboard now? 
it's showing. It's green. There it goes. <laughs> No matter what happens, I came this far. I must make it through to the end. Need to put my faith in the guardian angel. With the followers carefully giving up their flowers to the front of the altar onto the pastor's coffin, we mark the end of today's funeral service. No, that wasn't the end. There was like wreath laying. There was chanting hymns, and then wreath laying. And now, now what? We continue with the possession ritual of the pastor's soul to merge with a sacrificial body for his resurrection. See, I told you it said resurrection. Oh, L keyboard. All right, thank you, thank you. JKL. All right. I got the L keyboard. Put my finger on the L, and hopefully my keyboard's working. All right, see, I knew it said resurrect. We thank the holy angel who has prepared a lovely body to be passed on to the pastor today. For the pastor's soul to easily find his way onto the new body, we must first drag the sacrifice out of the cage and lie them upon the altar. Oh, excellent. Alright, I'll put this into three. Ah, no! So we're just another cultist after all! F3, pre-resurrection. Yep, we're a cultist. We embrace our cultosity. Please, how can you do this to another person? You're going to be the vessel for a pastor. You should be happy. I am a person, not a sacrifice. Well, not for long. Help! I said help. Get away from me. I won't move an inch. I need to drag them out somehow. Continuous and press Z. Cage is now open. Just stop and get out here already. Huh? Why? Why are you smiling? Congratulations, ma'am. She passed the test. As it was expected. I mean, the wife of a wise pastor would never fall for cheap tricks like this. We apologize for suddenly making you go through this fake funeral. It's just that you weren't acting like, well, yourself lately. We were worried that the ritual earlier wasn't completed properly. We thought we'd have to do it again. Please forgive us for ever suspecting you, ma'am. Well, at least we are absolutely sure now. The angel who blessed us with the power of resurrection, they were right. It's her, the beloved wife of our pastor, really has come back to life. Congratulations. You have no idea what's going on, don't you? First off, relax. I'm not on the same side as those cultists. Since you passed the trial, I can think I can tell you now. Finally, I was going crazy not to spill anything for you this whole time. You know how angels can fall from grace, yeah? Humans typically think that when an angel falls, they immediately become a demon. But that isn't always the case. Most fallen angels feel the sense of superiority. Superiority. Oh, sorry, I have to know this. They get a sense of superiority. I will have to practice that. From the fact that they were an angel once. So sometimes they obsess over maintaining the image of being holy and powerful even after their corruption. If they are banished from heaven and they choose not to go to hell, where do you think they end up? That's right, the world of humans. Now when angels descend to earth, we can't let their, our true forms be seen, so we are given a vessel from God to possess, so that we can use them to appear and exist alongside humans without harming them. If that's the case for angels who are still on their job. What about the fallen? 
God immediately doesn't want anything to do with them, so naturally their originally assigned vessels are taken away from them too. Then how can they exist on Earth? The answer is obvious if you think about it. They steal a living human's body. That makes perfect sense. Targeting those who are desperate. Targeting those who are unstable. Targeting those who are lost. I will be your salvation. Just let me into your mind. I will bring your loved one back to life. Sacrifice me a body of a person and I will let your loved one take it over instead. Using their angelic voices, they convince those people to perform a ritual and possess their body before completely taking over. And when they wake up, well, they put up an act as if they are whoever that was the original host of the human body or the loved one that was brought back to life and lives on that way. That's right. You, just like how you in that, just like how you in that girl's body. Right, there's something wrong with that. Are playing your part as the beloved wife of the pastor who miraculously came back to live. Who knew an angel could go so low enough to take over the human they were supposed to look after? You disgust me. Everyone else said you were a lost cause, but I could feel it. You're human. She's somehow still conscious even after you've possessed her. As if you two were spiritually fighting inside on who gets to control the body. If you failed to complete the funeral service today, these people would have performed yet another ritual to your body. Thinking that the one from last time during the wife's funeral wasn't completely prop completed properly. <laughs> then the original host, Angelico, would have completely erased. That's why I insisted her to follow along, to trick them into thinking she's on their side. That way, even if it isn't now, but slowly and carefully, guide Angelica to her salvation. Even if you are the host now, Angelica will gain back control. How do I know? The fact that you listen to me is enough proof. I'm sorry, Angelica. It will be painful, but until the day I can properly salvage you, you must persevere. Until then! part of a cult. Yeah, so I think what they're saying is that Forcus is a good guardian angel and he's looking over Angelica who is now trapped in a body with an actual fallen angel and he's trying to get Angelica strong enough so that Angelica can, can in essence push out the fallen angel and regain full control over her own body again. Now the F3 was pre-resurrection. I don't remember if we had any other choice in there that we can make to screw up the resurrection, So, but we'll try it. Or is this just all the ending scene? Alright, so in essence if we decide not to help with this... Is there a way to... Go against their... Cultist desires? It's just going to game over and not tell us actually what the issue is. All right, so all right, so if we do a continue from level two, two was mid 
did? I can't even read my own notes. Oh, mid chrysanthemums. Right, kitty, kitty, I said that I fed you. Kitty, go look at your food dish. You're not gonna get more food out of me. Meryl, yep, Meryl, you said. All right, so this was the issue with the chrysanthemums. So let's see if we can go. No, I don't want to talk to you right now. Oh, wait, it's you. Hello, guardian angel. Yep, you are my protective guardian angel. I am Angelica. You're trying to help me. Yep, we're, we're going to try to fail you, though, because we want to see the fail ending. So let's see if we can get into this kitty. Kitty, I can't see around you. There'll be trouble for both of us if I talk to them now. But yeah, I know, but I want to cause trouble. Will you not let me cause trouble? No, alright, so they're not even giving me the option right now to try to let them out. And I think once we talk to them about the chrysanthemums, that is sort of too late. But we will try this and see if we had another choice. 24 on the left. Now what if I want to go talk to the cage person? No, see, it still won't let me talk to the cage person. I am in my spot. Alright, yeah, see that 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 point is the end of the service. Alright, so let's escape. Alright, let's see what happens if we don't shake it. We're going to help them. So that just does game over. Alright, so let's see. So I think we'd have to go back to one. I suppose we never walked when there were... What happens if we walk? Uh, so it just goes to game over. So that's nothing exciting. Alright, so we'd have to do all the candles. And then it should give us a moment to... Alright, we're continuing from one. we we'll have to do all the candles. And then... It shouldn't take too long. It should take a minute or so. And then we should get an option. Alpha. You know, I'm being quiet myself as if it matters, as if they can hear me talking. It's got this sense that you have to be silent. <laughs> They can't hear me when I talk. Alpha. 
Suspicious about my ability to sprint between Kindles. Alright, I did too. That, that felt a little iffy. Amen. Alright, got the Kindles done. Alright, so we're going to go back to our spot, but we're going to save. Oh, we can't save here. We have to go back to the front. Is it going to fail me if we're going back to the front and saving? We're going to save in five. F5 is post candle. So the question is, if we talk to the guy now, is it going to count enough as this, of, with us being unobedient, disobedient? All right, so we can't talk to them yet. Let's try just standing here for a second. Sing praise of blessings. Take out the chrysanthemums. Alright, we're gonna get the guy trying to talk to us in the middle. Alright, so let's see what happens if we try to talk to the person. You came back! There's a lock in the cage with a passcode. You need to enter four numbers. Let me figure this out. Alright, we're gonna look. open this up. Something's bad going to help me at the end of the funeral. I can feel it. Wait, don't tell me. You don't know the passcode? Then do you know anyone around here that would know about it? I don't want to die here. Please don't let me die here. You'd be more quiet or they'll... Uh-oh. It is time for the next procedure. I'll ask you about the passcode. Passcode? I believe every assistant has already been informed of it. Why are you asking now? I forgot it. Arg! My head hurts! So I forget easily! C. B. Which is what? 105? C. B? You need to stay calm, especially at a time like this. Next procedure. There's a musical note next to a flower and a list of numbers. Since it's hard to tell what the numbers mean yet, does that mean I should check the flowers first? Well, I am pretty curious if everyone did bring their chrysanthemums. I should take a look around for that. And the person in cage said something about a passcode. Is there something with numbers on it in this church in the first place? Alright, so, one of these books had something about, is it this one? Verse of the day? No, it had no, thought there was some, oh wait, that did actually have 5521. Oh, I see. C verse is chapter and verse. I hear they use Roman numerals. But I think what it meant was chapter and verse, which is the 5521. Alright, so now we're back to... 
it won't let us do this now. Maybe it'll let us do the passcode when we're in that final scene. We'll just find out just in case. Yeah, but, but we can just open it up. But all right, fine. Yes. I'm ready to report. I know, from the last game. Unless it changes it randomly. Fine. actually go talk to the sad person. Yes, yes. You're sorry you forgot it. Sorry we have to report you. Because I think if we just say that, if we just lie, I think it's just going to do a game over. So I think we have to... Yes, yes. Hello, Angel. You are looking out for us. Thank you for looking out for us. Oh, uh-oh. You're not listening to me. He's changed what he said. What did I tell you? No matter what happens, no matter what someone says, mind your own business. Why do I feel like you haven't been doing that? I'm wrong, right? Tell me it's just all just a misunderstanding. Sorry, I was going to skip through your thing because I thought you were going to say the same thing. I didn't want to be the mean guy here, but you just aren't listening to me. Don't you know that angels can be more terrifying than demons? Yes, uh oh. Yes, you're a terrifying angel. Listen carefully. You are in a very dangerous situation, understand? Um, as soon as you are faced with a quick flash of the angel's true form, you started feeling like every ounce of blood in your body was about to pour out from your eyes and nose. Yeah, it's a little creepy. Do as you are told. No, we've already done what we were told. That was the boring ending. We want a different ending now. We're going to use the passcode once we tell the angel or this person here. Alright, so on the left, from your perspective, is 24. We went looking for a flower. Ceremony must be perfect because you're trying to resurrect a person which is actually going to end up being putting a fallen angel into someone's body form. All right, we'll just stand there for a second. Oh, okay. So the flower part doesn't do the game over. Hey, I'm trying to stand in the right spot. What if we stand there? No, what if we stand there? There's like no way to get her to turn around in in spot. What if we just hit Z? There we go. I am in my spot. You want me to like face the wall? No matter what happens, I came this far, I can make it through to the end. Nope, we're going to free the person. Nope. Nope, we're giving up on the guardian angel. We want to try other things now. Suspicious. Everything is suspicious. That angel. This whole funeral. Why did they cage a person like that? I just can't stand here and let that happen. Not only that, if I continue to stay here, who knows what might happen to me as well. I made up my mind. Let's just open the lock while that nun is away and I can. Yes. With the followers carefully giving up their flowers to the front of the altar onto the pastor's coffin, we mark the end of today's funeral service. And now... All right. No. We continue with the possession ritual of the pastor's soul to merge with the sacrificial body for his resurrection. No, you're not. A fallen angel's going to get into the body. 
We thank the holy angel who has prepared a lovely body to be passed on to the pastor today. For the pastor's soul to easily find his way onto the new body, we must first drag the sacrifice out of the cage and lie them up on the altar. Six. Ah, no! No, we're not a cultist. We have the code number. We're going to try to give it to you. I'm trying to help. No, we need to give them the code number. Human sacrifice. Open the cage. Lock in the cage. Four number password. All right, 5521. I can't. I'm typing Z. Why I want to do it? Ah. The cage is now open. Alright, that was exciting. It's open! Run! Uh oh. Why? Why aren't you running? If we stay here, they'll... Oh no. It's truly a shame you chose to run away. I can't believe this. That's... that's not her. That's not the pastor's wife. What we feared became reality. The ritual during her funeral didn't work. I knew that woman was acting off lately. Good thing we tested her. Now we're sure of her state. Hey, we don't have much time left. I think... I can let you know now. You know how angels can fall, yeah? Not all fallen angels become a demon. Many of them feel the sense of superiority from the fact that they were an angel once and tries to remain holy. So they wander around the human world since they can't go to neither heaven or hell. You can ignore hell. Angels, when we descend, we need to hide our true form so we are given vessels assigned from God to possess. But if you fall, you lose that vessel. Remember how I said fallen angels roam around the human world? But how can they when they don't have a vessel? They steal a living human's body. Targeting those who are desperate. Targeting those who are unstable. Targeting those who are lost. I will be your salvation. Just let me into your mind. I will bring your loved one back to life. Sacrifice me a body of a person, and I will let your loved one take it over instead. Take over it instead. Using their angelic voices, they convince those people to perform a ritual and possess their body before completely taking over their mind. And when they wake up, well, they put up an act as if they are the whoever that was the original host of the human body or the loved one that was brought back to life and lives on that way. You probably already know where I'm heading with this. Just like how the fallen angel possessing you is acting as the wife of the pastor who came back to life. But somehow you continuously showed sign of consciousness even after the possession. The people of the church noticed something was off and they became suspicious. So they set up this fake funeral to observe how you behave. This was both a test and a trap. To see if you listen or not. To see if you are the wise and faithful woman of the church they know and adore. That's why I asked you to do what they want for now. I'd descend there and help you, but they aren't letting me go down. They're saying that your actions have consequences. It's you who didn't listen, and now you must pay the price. Even when you're still alive. Even when you're still asking for help. You were just confused, and you only did what you thought was best. How merciful of them, huh? I'm sorry. Then where did the wife's soul go? How do we bring her back? We must perform the ritual again, so that the possession can be properly complete. Quick, grab her! 
We need to kill her mind so that she won't ever wake up again. Give us your body. It's for the peace of the church. Ah! A joke. Yes, this was all a joke. It's me. I'm her. I'm the pastor's wife. Don't you recognize me? Please believe me. I'm the person you all know and love, so... so... Please just let me be. a pastor's wife was she if she would happily let people be in cages and be tortured and stuff that doesn't seem like a very good pastor's wife if you meant that song that was just playing then yes that's one of my favorite songs I was having trouble <laughs> not listening to the song and just focusing on the text of what was happening so that was a really cool game Ending two, false sacrifice. So are those the only two endings? The, we'll say the good ending where you sacrifice someone to prove that you are actually an obedient pastor's wife. And then the other one where you don't obediently follow and therefore prove that you must not be the pastor's wife. <laughs> a lot of fun. I like both of those games. They're both very intriguing. Alright. Well, I'm going to call it an end for tonight. And we can arrange another time to play some of the other ones. But thank you guys for recommending these to me. Those were very interesting. And they were far less bloody than I thought. I was wholly expecting for them to be entrails and hacked off limbs and gore and other things. So that was... <laughs> much calmer and much more nicely thought intriguing than I was uh, afraid was going to happen to me. <laughs> Alright, have a great night! I will see you all soon!